Ebola is a life-threatening disease caused by the Ebola virus. There is currently no cure or vaccine. Ebola is deadly. If 10 people get Ebola, up to 9 of them may die. It is unknown where Ebola came from. However, scientists think it initially spread from fruit bat to humans. Humans can get Ebola from another person who has symptoms of the disease, from animals or bushmeats that have the virus. Although the disease is dangerous and can kill in a short time, we can stop Ebola from spreading. This video provides information on the symptoms of Ebola, how it spreads and how we can help stop it from spreading. A person with Ebola often develops a sudden fever, body weakness, muscle or joint pain, headaches, and a sore throat. They may also have diarrhea, vomiting, a rush, in some cases, bleeding. The Ebola virus lives in body fluid like vomit, saliva, blood, wounds, urine, feces, sweat, and semen. The virus can get into others even after the sick person dies. If a person with the disease has any symptoms, they can spread Ebola to another person. If a person catches the virus, it can take between 2 and 21 days before they start feeling unwell. Spread of the Ebola virus from one person to another is through direct touch or through touching things contaminated with bodily fluid of a person with symptoms of the infection. The Ebola virus can get into your body either through breaks in your skin or through your mouth, eyes and other openings in the body. Standing beside or being in contact with a person who has no symptoms of Ebola is safe. Ebola can also be spread by eating bush meat that contains the virus, especially monkeys, chimps and bats. To stop the spread of Ebola, you and people in your community should follow these steps. Avoid touching sick people where Ebola virus is suspected. If you cannot avoid this, there are things you can do to protect yourself. Ask medical personnel for advice. Inform the nearest health facility immediately if someone you know is suspected of having the symptom of Ebola or dies of what you think is Ebola. Go to a health facility immediately if you have sudden fever, intense weakness, muscle pain, headache and sore throat, followed by vomiting, diarrhea, a rush, and bleeding. Do not use the same sharp objects such as razor blades and needles as a person who might have Ebola. Cleaning your hands will help prevent the spread of Ebola. There are two ways you can clean your hands. Either wash with normal soap and water or use a hand sanitizer. Always wash your hands, especially before and after caring for someone who is sick, before eating, preparing or serving food, immediately after you've touched body fluid, especially vomit, saliva, blood, semen, urine and feces. After touching anything that could be contaminated by this aforementioned fluid like a tabletop. Avoid sexual intercourse with a sick person or a person recovering from Ebola for at least 90 days since the virus can live in semen even when men are well again. Avoid touching the body of someone who has died from Ebola. The corpse should be handled by trained workers wearing protective equipment following strict procedures. The body should not be washed by untrained personnel because this can spread the disease to healthy people. If you have to do this, you should be trained and take advice from health workers about the use of protective equipment. Avoid eating bush meat, especially monkeys, chimps, bats and any dead animals. Why is it important to go to the hospital if someone has symptoms? Early treatment increases your chance of survival and can stop the virus from spreading to others. The medical team should be able to safely give the necessary life-saving fluid and care to persons with the disease sometimes in critical care units. 
and help stop the spread of Ebola in your community. Remember, with prompt hospital care, some people do recover from Ebola and once given the all clear, can return home. Please help prevent the spread of Ebola. Together we can make the community healthy again.